This is a J Mix exclusive. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the uh, Tupac assassination films? I know you said that you're working with R.J. Bond. Right, right. The, the ones that I did see, uh, that's what got my attention. And uh, I think they're excellent. I think they're well put together. Uh, and uh, his interview techniques are excellent. And, and a lot of the people that were interviewed were never interviewed by the police. Do you feel that the LAPD has an interest in solving these crimes, or do you, would you say that they have an interest in burying the facts of these crimes? Well, I think they would like to, if there was a possibility to solve it, they'd like to get it out of their hair and get it solved. But I think that they, they believe, I mean, there's so many millions of pages and, and a lot of work uh, over the years has been done. And, and there's lots of different clues. And I think any prosecutor that actually got the case would have to sift through all the, those files when it's, it should be very simple. The, the, the murder case itself is, is just a very simple uh, investigation but when you have a high profile case you've got like files and files which will become discovery at trial so it's a nightmare for any prosecutor so and it's a nightmare for any detective that's why you got to have a little bit extra on these cases you got to have almost uh, you got to have that smoking gun so uh, and and able to present that case to a jury with all the different clues and different theories that have been spoken about over the years, it will be a nightmare in trial. So that's why you almost need a uh, you need a smoking gun so uh, a judge can take a look at that and say none of this other stuff is relevant. We're st we're sticking with uh, with this, which and and. That's what they need to do is streamline it. But right now, I believe prosecutors and police and both Las Vegas and LAPD, I think they, are inter they would love to have this thing solved, but it's a discovery nightmare. Well, and also you've had the Rampart scandal. You've had some corruption involved. So you're going to have, like, police officers saying that this is what happened, and then you're going to have other police officers saying, no, I don't think that happened that way. So you see how mixed it can it can be. You had certain leaders like Parks, uh, and then you got uh, Charlie Beck in there, and you you had Bratton, and they all got different philosophies on the on the case. So it's it is a nightmare uh, as far as prosecution, but there is a way to solve it without even going to trial. It'll be hard to do. You know, the way we do it is if you've got the evidence, but in the interest of justice, they're not going to file charges against the individual, even though they believe this individual is responsible. And, and the reason why I say that, a lot of times your, your key witnesses have been killed or murdered. But, but you have the evidence on paper, and it shows that the this this person is responsible for it but we can't take him to trial because he can't face these key witnesses who are not available for court and so I've done this before because uh, you know some of my key witnesses were murdered along the way and uh, and it's just the way the justice system is if uh, if your key witnesses let's say a key witness made a statement years ago and then, and then you finally solve the case, but some of your key witnesses over the last 10 years have been killed. Uh, there's certain rules and certain laws that uh, prevent the case from being filed. 
in the first place because uh, those witnesses are no longer available and and cannot face cross-examination in a court trial. <coughs> so, uh, I mean, there, there's different ways, but uh, I do believe that uh, Suge Knight and Reggie Wright Jr. are responsible. I think the evidence is clear for the Tupac Shakur case. I also believe he's responsible. Both of them are responsible for the hit on Biggie also. But I think the evidence in Tupac is, is mounting and building. If you can get all the people that uh, talked to Tupac before his death and then uh, some of the key people. Frank Alexander was a key person. But, uh, and a lot of his stuff is documented. You see what I mean? He's a key, he's a key witness. And he's no longer here to testify on the stand in the case, so. Something is worth half a billion dollars, and you're tired of being harassed by the guy who runs it. Why not just kill him and take it from him?